Lawyers for two men, accused of embezzling 1.8 billion US dollars from the Malaysian Sovereign Wealth Fund 1MDB began laying out their case Thursday, April 18, after Swiss state prosecutors sought hefty jail terms. Petro Saudi, Chief Executive Tarek Abate, and Patrick Mahoney, a director at the Saudi oil exploration and production company, are on trial at Switzerland's federal criminal court in the southern city of Bellinzona. They are accused of involvement in a vast embezzlement orchestrated by Joe Lowe, an advisor to former Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Rozak. Noting the sums involved compared to Malaysia's GDP. Prosecutor Alice de Chambril, on Wednesday, called it the scam of the century and branded the defendants as calculative, manipulative and obscenely greedy, the Keystone ATS news agency reported. She sought a 10-year sentence for abate and a 9-year term for his right-hand man. Prosecutors also requested the detention of the two due to the perceived risk of flight in the gap between the trial and the verdict. Abate is a Swiss-Saudi dual national, while Mahoney is Swiss-British. Abate's lawyer Daniel Zappelli highlighted the absence of Najib and Lowe, and said there were variations in the amounts that the defendants allegedly laundered. Keystone ATS reported. The multi-billion dollar, one MDB financial scandal has led to criminal investigations around the world, including in the United States, Switzerland and Singapore. It is alleged that billions of dollars were pilfered from the fund, officially one Malaysia development bearhead, by a number of people and used to buy items ranging from artwork to a super yacht. Najib was in 2022 sentenced to 12 years in jail in Malaysia for offences linked to the misuse of public money. In February, his sentence was half to six years. The 1MDB scandal led to the fall of Najib's government in 2018. During the Swiss trial on Wednesday, the prosecution requested that assets sequestered by Switzerland be confiscated and returned to 1MDB. Chambria said Abe and Mahoney squandered their loot on precious stones. Private jets, rented yachts and property in London and Geneva. She accused them of extraordinary criminal activity and tenacity over 10 years between 2009 and 2019 if alleged acts of concealment are included. The case, being heard by three judges, opened on April 2 and is scheduled to last until the end of the month though the verdict could take months.